when when I was in, invited to come work on this production, um, I was like, oh, I know that music. I that's very like I it's deeply embedded in sort of memories that I have. Um, in this particular musical, I think one of the things that's um, beautiful about it is that the work is kind of done for us, right? We're set in Ireland, we're set on Grafton Street, we're set in Dublin. So I think with Grafton Street, the 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 street paving is the most iconic thing, right? So when you see the design for once, you're gonna see that grid-like pattern, the warm red pavers, uh, offset by the sort of grid of gray, light and dark gray pavers. Um, and then it's really, it's chairs, it's furniture, it's people and musicians um, that, that both form the space, um, and then uh, through the rearrangement of furniture to create the different locations, um, that's what becomes the architecture of the space. It's not about the bells and the whistles that you might feel when you think of a musical, a traditional musical. Um, we also have in the space a lot of black masking um, that sort of telescoped um, back into the space. So as you look upstage, it starts to kind of come and encroach in uh, towards that center line. Um, again, to sort of round out that sort of beautiful shape that writer Cedar has. Yeah, so in the design, um, we have a ground row that has uh, about 400 some points of light in it. And they can be controlled individually and kind of glisten and glimmer. Um, and they're supposed to feel like the, um, the Dublin skyline uh, and sort of feel like the city lights. Uh, but it should be a really beautiful and magical moment.